My brother put his fist through a window on New Year's Eve. No one noticed until a cool draft called our bodies dancing. There was rainbow light from a disco ball, silver tinsel round the pictures. My brother held his arm out to us, palm upturned, a foot-high spray of blood. This was Ilford, Essex, 1993, nearly midnight. Us all smashed on booze and ecstasy, and Billy, six foot five, folding at the knee, a shiny fin of glass wedged in his wrist. We walked into the kitchen, the good arms slung on someone's neck, Gary shouting, Billy, Darren phoning for an ambulance, the blood was everywhere. I pressed a towel across the wound, around the glass, and led him by the hand into the garden. He stumbled down into the snow, slurring, leave it out, and I'm okay. A girl was crying in the doorway. The music carried on, thumping as we stood around my brother, Gary talking gently, saying, easy fella. Darren draining Stella in one hand and in the other, holding up my brother's arm, wet and red. The veins stood out like branches. I thought that he was dying out there in the snow, and I got down. I knelt there on the ice and held my brother, who I never touched and never told I loved, and even then I couldn't say it. So I listened to that incantation, easy fella, and my brother's breathing, felt him rolling forward, all that weight, Darren throwing down his can and yelling, Billy, don't you dare, and shaking him. My brother's face was gray, his lips were loose and pale, and I was praying. Somewhere in the street, there was a siren. There was a girl inside who blamed herself. There were men with blankets and a tourniquet, and they stopped my brother bleeding. As the new year turned, they saved him. The snow was falling hard. They saved us all. <laughs>